Hey everyone, Katie with Yuma Territorial Promotions with you today. This week we're going to be talking about lawn signs and how you can use them as guerrilla marketing to promote your business. What we do in our business is we use them mainly to promote events, but you can use them out in front of your business or out in different areas around town year-round to promote. Ours, uh, we have two types. I have them somewhere. Uh, here they are. We have a very basic one which is upside down. There it is. And let's see if we can get this far enough back so you can see it. And it's just, just eye-catching, very simple to read, and just obviously gun show this weekend where it's at. We put this out the week before. Our city has ordinances on how long you can have advertising um, without needing a permit. In our city, it's one week, so we just have these out for one week before. And then we have some fancier ones they say the same things but they look a little more awesome and these are a double-sided this one's been around for a couple of years so it's been a little smudged but uh, this one catches the eye of those who like a little more color so we alternate between the two and they are very effective people get used to looking for them we also have a few banners that we put out about um, my my front yard is in a very prominent location, so I put uh, a couple big banners out on my fence. The two ways that you can put them out is the standard lawn sign holder that comes with these. Let's see if I can find a way to show this. It's not coming out very well. They are just the rinky-dink lawn signs. They just have these wire things that go up into the lawn sign and then you put them into the ground. They are, if you have well watered or, you know, well watered lawns or lots of rain in your area, these are actually okay to use. They're the cheapest. They pretty much just come with them. Our ground, we don't get a lot of rain. It's very sandy and when it does rain, it, when it dries out, it makes the ground really hard. So we end up having to really work to pound these in. So we have upgraded to Oops, let's not shake the camera. We have upgraded to these plastic spiked ones. The tops, as you can see, are the same. They just have the little wires up top, but they are a hard plastic stake at the bottom, so they're a little bit more effective to punch in. I was gonna see if you could see where we pound them in at, but this one's actually not too badly damaged. But you just get them down in there, and you can, if the ground's not too bad, you can push them in, or we have a, um, a hammer that we just pound them in with and they're very they're very handy honestly um, the other thing we do is I found that these little flags here with the little tiny things are actually perfect to stick in the corrugation and you just put the flag in there and it's just when the wind blows it's a little something to catch the eye we've also tried pinwheels the pinwheels tend to get destroyed or stolen a lot easier and uh, so we've just stuck with the flags they don't get stolen as easily and the wind catches them no matter what direction the wind is going it gets a lot of attention where we put these at are major intersections throughout town we put them usually caddy corner we try to do two per intersection so we try to put them caddy corner across from each other uh, that way traffic going both ways get to see them but they're not causing too much you can get bigger ones than these I'm sure you've seen the campaign ones that are quite huge but those take two people to do and usually um, the big fence posts to put in so we really we don't mess with them these are easy because it takes a one person to go around town and quick put them out the Monday before a show for us so you know and it doesn't take up a lot of room but it still gets people's attention plus they're much more reasonable in cost I think these are about ten dollars a piece and as long as they're not stolen they've lasted us uh, five years so far so in summary these guys are very cost effective at about ten to twelve dollars a piece they um, when you get the double-sided ones traffic going both ways can see them they last a long time as long as they don't get stolen be prepared for them to get stolen at least a few every so often it just it happens people are that way put some flags or some sort of sparkly things that'll get caught by the wind and it always does catch the eye and uh, have fun with them that's the great thing make sure you put them in important in intersections throughout town and out in front of your business and you'll get all the extra people 
This has been Katie with Human Territorial Promotions. Have a great day.